Hey, I'm Dukes on Twitch. If you want to support the channel and greensunsinit.com, you can find my Patreon, merch store, and single store where you can buy singles through TCG Player or Card Hoarder in the video description. If you want to get in contact, you can also find all that info in the description below for things like donation deck lists or just wanting to reach out. All right, let's get right into it. Hey team, uh, welcome back to Dukes on Switch. Uh, back with League 2. Uh, and the only change that I want to try is that I am going to play a main deck Ooze and I'm going to move an Endurance to the board uh, and I'm going to drop the Choke. I think, uh, you know what, no. I'm going to keep the Choke. I'm going to drop a Force and go to two Force of Vigors. I think that's fine. I still think Choke is a fine one of as like a bullet card. But I think there's been a few times where I've been missing the Ooze main deck. Even just the incremental life gain, having like a, a two drop that I can uh, go and grab, as well as a bit of a threat that isn't just oof, is pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, just does a little bit more than endurance and just like the flashy kind of one-off effect. So we'll, we'll see how this list goes. Uh, league, play points. Nice. But yeah, Scooz is a, a tough one to drop. Yeah, Jide, no, I 110% I, I agree about my respect for days. I could always cut the engineers. Um, but yeah, I think uh, a big weakness of my game against blue decks, especially days decks, is just giving it way too much uh, appreciation. Um... This is a tricky one. We're like one fetch land away from the from the hand being okay, but I'm just a player that really likes to make sure my mana. Apologies, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that makes yeah. I want my mana to be fine, so we're gonna mulligan this. Uh, this is a lot better. I'll keep this and probably bottom the scoos and keep spirit Thalia uh, and acceleration. Nice. All right. Hey, Burb. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Delta. Island. Honda. Okay. Nice. You sneaky. Uh, Julian, do you have any like uh, big paper tournaments coming up now that everything's kind of expanding? I believe there's a big eternal uh, tournament coming up in, in Europe. Savannah. Okay. Pretty happy here just to buy you into acceleration. Yeah. Land pass. I guess the, the downside of... I wasn't sure if this was a Wasteland deck, which is why I kept the Savannah. But the downside of not playing Savannah turn one is now I can't do something like like Thalia and Wasteland if they do go for like a, a, a Tundra here or a, another land. I'm happy to lead on Thalia here over Spirit. Just in the early game to really tax them on any sort of cantrips and then land Spirit a little bit more down the line. And there's Tundra, yeah. Sword. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to take them off the Tundra. And then see if they float. They float blue. Sure. Change phase. Nothing. I'm not going to attack here. So I want to cast Spirit and Noble. Four seasons. That's it. That is the one. Because um, I assume a Four Seasons tournament hasn't been on since pre-COVID. B 
Beast? Wow. Okay. Um, the big question is, do I, do I want to overcommit into something like a main deck uh, Supreme Verdict? We've seen Swords and Ponder. They could have like Snap Swords. Snap Swords is pretty brutal. Because then if we play the Questing Beast, they can just block the Spirit and Swords the Questing Beast. We do have the Endurance to turn off this. So potentially it's not casting Questing Beast this turn, or just holding up Endurance. But unfortunately, the Spirit, even with Exalted, gets traded by a Snap. Yeah. It might just be attack, like, it's tough because it's such a different clock, but I kind of just want to attack with the Dried Arbor here. I really don't want to lose the Spirit. That's kind of my one uh, control element on this game so far. Nothing. Oh, this could be Hull Breacher. That would be pretty brutal. No. Huh. Uh, Jace is more than fine. Hey, Granham. Too kind. Hey, Cree, welcome. Uh, a huge thank you. Uh, how did you go? I assume you're playing Death and Taxes. Hopefully, it went uh, pretty well. Uh, they chose not to use, so we can definitely fetch here. I don't think I want to use the Endurance though, but it's um, it's definitely interesting. There's maybe a world where I could snag a Force on the Endurance and then untap and Questing Beast. The big issue is that. Uh, Oh, they missed a land. That's pretty interesting. Did they? Four mana. Yeah, because they had two mana and two uh, fetches up last time. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, I think we uh, try to bait with this endurance, which is tough because it actually doesn't kill the Jace even with Exalted. We can't attack with both creatures. I guess we could attack with both creatures if we want. Yes. Ah, oh, take it. Take it. Uh, I won't attack with... I want to do this. Yes. <laughs> nice. This kills the Jace. Nice. QB. QB at it. A hundred percent. That uh, That sounds really good. Interesting. Predict. They don't know the top card. I would probably name Brainstorm. They've only hit they hit counter spell. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, we did waste them, that's very true. Alright, uh blue white control.
This is going to be an interesting one. I think it's just this. It could potentially be knight and keep a noble. Um, only just trying Paradox Zone in uh, in Mav, um, and haven't actually cast it yet. It's always it's always tough to give feedback on things like Kaya or Paradox Zone because you never really see them. Hmm. I think this is it. There's a, there's a world where I want the Force of Vigor, but I think I'm going to be okay without it. We do have other ways to deal with Back to Basics in Prismatic Ending and Night of Autumn, which is nice. But my big question is if they are on a Stoneblade list or not. Or if it's just like a straight blue-white, maybe Jeskai? Um... I don't, I don't mind this hand. This is a little bit rough, but like if they are a Stoneforge deck, having this as a way to deal with um, Stoneforge is quite nice. Also just being able to play land drops is, is pretty cool. Green Sun's most likely looking for Leovold. Uh, opponent mulligan as well to six cards. Does counterbalance ever get played anymore? I did see a 5-0 list uh, that might have even be a, been a challenge list that was like a Delverless Delver playing counterbalance in the board. Which is pretty interesting. But I think potentially in the current format with like main deck Pyroblast and a lot of our uh, blue decks, it might not be the the best positioned. Aren't you faced counterbalance in round six or seven? Okay, cool. Hmm. Nothing pass. I'm pretty happy to not play the Wasteland here to see if they try to go for a... Uh, a Tundra off this Pluto Delta. Spell. Hmm. I don't think I want to play the mum just yet. I really want to try to keep my creature count pretty low, but at the same time, it's tough because I want to get the mum online for an actual threat. Hey, Tweezy Granham, thank you very much for the raid. And uh, yeah, definitely chat soon, um, because it would be really cool to do some some content together. They missed a land drop. There is a world there where I could play the Wasteland to stop this from occurring, where they get to the swords and then untap with a white source. 
Mentor is going to be fine though, which is nice. We have a prismatic ending twice if needed. And green suns. Force is fine. Hmm. I don't mind getting the trop here. White, green, blue. I'm not too sure what I want to get with the Green Suns, though. It could be- it's between Grist and Leovold, in my opinion. Wow, they don't find a fetch land. See if they float and then try to change phase to get any sort of... They're gonna brainstorm again. Okay. On this board, I think Grist is pretty solid. Um, and I think I will just create a creature instead of trading. I could trade. Hmm. What's the downside? The downside of trading is if they have like Snapcaster into removal and noble kill the Grist. If we tick up, it's pretty hard for them to deal with it. Yeah, if they slam Jace, it's pretty good as well. And Endurance went to the bin as well. The nice kind of uh, synergy with Endurance and Grist that you might not pick up on is that if you start Gristing things you kind of want that you can't get back from the graveyard, you can Endurance yourself to then put things like Green Sun's targets back. Or like if you want Caracas, you can put it back to get with Knight, which is pretty awesome. I haven't thought about Living Wish too much. What's this? On this. Um, I, I do like it in like a Vile deck. I know um, Jeff was playing around with it. Jeff you might know as the kind of Esper Vile master. Uh, he played a pretty cool Living Wish version. Yeah, it's more so in the matchups where you rather the actual utility of, um... Hmm. Utility of the lands rather than the knight being bigger than a 2-2. Two -two. That's why this version's kind of cool, because you, you only have the two knights. I think here I'm in a position to trade the, the bird and the monk. But there is a world where um, I just create a 
a creature. They have, they have one card, so I think just keep, keep on trucking with the Grist is kind of where I want to be. And then we have the Endurance as a, a, a blocker if I really need it as well. I'm going to keep this Bayou though. I think that's better as a unknown card. Like here they could be forced to like snap cast the swords to attack the Grist. And then we just have the Endurance, which is pretty cool. Like, this is more than fine. Oof. That's a yikes. Yeah, now Gris gets to take over the game. Oh, and we get to take them off white mana? Come on now. We're also pretty close. One... Okay, we only have one creature in the bin. So, the ulti currently deals one damage. Come on, Paradox Outcome. Ooh, that's pretty good. But yeah, Gris just gives Green Sun such a really good, like, grind element to it. That's a lot harder to deal with than just normal creatures. That it's pretty amazing. Could get, like, a Horizon Canopy in the, in the bin. Um, all right. I'm just gonna get back Wasteland. There's a world where my opponent plays a fetch land and then brainstorms and we can take the shuffle away from them. Or potentially just hit another jewel. Nice. Very cool start to the uh, to the league. I wouldn't say worthless, but it definitely gives you something to do with a Green Suns, which is nice. But being able to shut off everything else is still, I think, relevant, especially against Elves. It makes them have to have creatures out on the field for Grist to, to deal with it. Yeah, definitely a nice matchup to win. I feel like my opponent just kind of stumbled a bit on mana there, having to rely on the Tundra and then a few missed land drops around turn three and four, which is always pretty tough for a deck like that. You kind of just want to be making your land drops Maybe playing some some planeswalkers. But yeah, usually a, a tough one. Swords to Plowshares, Prismatic Ending, Supreme Verdict, Teferi Bounce, Jace Bounce, little things like that can definitely uh, hurt you as a deck that isn't like a Death and Taxes deck where you can just kind of rebuild at instant speed through Vile. A little bit harder to take over the board, so I think that sort of matchup is where you need to get a little bit lucky as well, and we did with, yeah, the opponent missing on some pretty crucial land drops. And having like double access to uh, Prismatic Ending for Mentor is pretty cool. Definitely helps. Yeah, some pretty cool matchups tonight. A lot of different matchups as well. But it would be would be cool to break that uh, that three two edge and get a a four one or a a trophy. But in good time. For now, take each game as it comes. Take each match as it comes. On the play, which is really nice, and a pretty okay hand. Probably going to lead on the Caracas. Don't want to get the Savannah wastelanded. Hey AED, welcome. Hope you're well. 
And there is de detrimental leading on the Krakus here. If we lead on the Savannah, we could do something like uh, turn one sword, untap draw, like Noble Hierarch, play Noble and also Wasteland. So by Krakus, as our turn one player, we are definitely turning off that sort of line, but I think just hiding the, the green source is pretty crucial here. Misty. Underground Sea. Thought Seas. All right, I think the spirit's gonna be going here. And then it's gonna be interesting. I think just wastelanding my opponent is probably the play. Unless we draw like a Thalia or another spirit. Scrib, no. Misty thoughts his underground seat doesn't say too much, other than potentially <laughs> a bit of a free win here. Uh, gonna get this ooze into play. Just as it's a, a known card. What do they discard? Burning Wish, okay. So that's actually interesting because right away it tells us that, that this is a combo deck, which is pretty fantastic for us because now we get to Green Suns for Collect Oof and really try to shut this game out. So it's interesting that they discarded something like Burning Wish and not a more, uh, Sort of consistently played card like a ponder or a preordain. I guess preordain also gives away that it's gonna be a uh, a combo matchup. Um I think here I like just Eat Spirit. Attack for five. So we have a three turn clock. And then it's like a just in case. I don't mind holding up the sword in case they have a way to go off with storm. But I just want to hold up the sword just in case we could maybe see if they like tendrils for Xaxes and we can swords our own creature. Pedal's fine. Because of the oof. So it's interesting that they played it, because it is obviously a storm count, which is relevant. Another Hierarch. Well, this is free. Um, the, the cool kind of thing here is that I can um, play around like a Burning Wish into Massacre, which I, I don't think gets there for my opponent. They'd have to Burning Wish Massacre and then go off because the Ooze otherwise would just kill them on the, on the backswing. But to play around Massacre, I can return the Savannah here to untap Hyrock, and then in their turn or in their upkeep or draw step, return this Savannah. But they're still like, the, they haven't conceded, so they definitely have a, a hand that's pretty close to going off, which is a little bit scary. So untap this, replay this. Play Noble. I think there's a world where taking them off threshold is pretty good as well. We have access to two green here. That need a very good uh, hand here to be able to go off. I could definitely play Wasteland, but I think uh, because we have the, the one turn clock, if they're gonna go off, the Wasteland doesn't do too much because they can just obviously float the mana. But yeah, potentially getting Ramen App into play there is better as it's a just an, another threat. All right, 
pretty nice to get the game one there. Uh, but there's not too much we want to be doing here. It's just like things that do have some potential. The plagues I do like just in case of empty. Um, the forces I don't mind, but that's only because uh, against a Thalia deck, a few Storm players do play out their LEDs or, or petals or wish claws a turn earlier than going off. So you do have areas where you can actually hit them. Uh, but it's a case of like, is there a card that just doesn't really do as much as you want? Like, Grist is too slow. Um, the endings are interesting because they, they can hit things like petals. The swords can, can definitely come out. Um, I like these. Ramanap is a little bit too slow. Knight of Autumn isn't too bad. Beast can most likely come out. The Prismatics maybe just just two. It could just be the one and then the, the two forces because that's what you're really hitting anyway. Could be a knight. Knight's still pretty relevant, but you really need to have that that early pressure or the early disruption to then land the pressure to like stay alive turn one, stay alive turn two. So it really comes down to this card. Deafening Silence is the, the biggest card because it allows us to stay alive for turn two where we, where we can then play Spirit or Thalia or Oof and just keep that, that disruption going, but also having elements that are both disruption and pressure. I think honestly it's just a knight, because I think if we're getting Green Sun, we're probably getting Leovold. Something like this seems pretty good. Protection, mana acceleration, actual hits. Plagues mainly for, yeah, empty, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, just way too slow. And against a, a Storm deck, I'm pretty happy to mulligan pretty aggressively towards a, a turn one play at least. <laughs> okay, well the hand here doesn't really get much better. Um, the question is, what do we drop? That's actually a good question. I think it's the mum at first glance, uh, but it could be the green suns. Because we're definitely going turn one Savannah, but if they have a, a thought seize, we can play turn one mum. Um, and then turn two, we have these two. So I think it is just the green suns here. Yeah. Yeah, it's also quite taxing with Thalia in hand, so. LED pass. I didn't expect that. Huh. But as you can see, this is a, a pretty uh, good example of where I like to keep in that prismatic ending, because if we didn't have the defense sil defending, <laughs> deafening silence, we could definitely try to ending this, which is pretty sweet. So now they could have Abrupt Decay open, but thankfully we get to uh, probably just play the Thalia here. I think Thalia taxing is better than turning off with the turning off the Oof. Because it turns off things like Ponders and Brainstorms as well, so. I think Thalia into next turn Oof and Wasteland is pretty good, but I assume Fetch here for like a bro no, okay. Wow, nothing. Yeah, so we definitely have some, some plays here. Um, if we were really worried about Massacre, we could use our mana and then Wasteland ourselves, but I don't think that's where I want to be just yet. Especially up a game, I'm happy to play a little bit more aggressive. Happy to attack first. There is a world where I should wait, play Wasteland, attack first, and then end of combat Wasteland the Bayou, so that if they do have something like an Abrupt Decay, we know. Yeah, I think that's actually correct. Wasteland first, and then uh, either play Collector Oof, or if they do nothing, maybe even Bird and Mum. I 
I don't mind keeping the bird though for the endurance. But yeah, this is where they can just float and like we the wasteland just becomes a little less powerful. They don't even float. That's amazing. Hmm. So they're essentially at 16. So I'm pretty happy to play Spirit here just because it turns it into a two-turn clock. It does kind of overboard and run into something like a um, a massacre, but the deafening silence I think is just doing enough to allow me to, to go wide here. Wasteland or Scrib Ranger is, is what I want to see here. Another deafening silence. It's pretty good. It means my opponent has to have like a uh, Echoing Truth into Massacre and a land and then three cards to go off with with LED. To be fair, these draws have been insane. Like the, the six was perfect and then to have this sort of setup is just really nice. But opponent's definitely going to try to do something here. Will it be echoing truth? Hey, Perel. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're well. All right. There's truth. Here's Massacre. Oh, maybe Burning Wish? Ritual? Ritual? Cabal. I think here I'm happy to Endurance them. To take them off the mana. Of Threshold. I think that's really going to screw things over. Yeah, nice. Very cool. Nice. I mean, tough spot for my opponent there, like silence into Thalia, into Oof, into Spirit, into Deafening Silence, into, oh, with Wasteland in there, and then having the uh, Endurance to take off the threshold of Cabal Writ is pretty huge. Hey monkey, hope you're well. Yeah, sometimes it just lines up, which is quite nice. All right, round number three, up against D8, DK, 3-2. I'm definitely, I think the biggest thing I've been thinking about so far playing this list is land number 24. 
and I think it's going to be a fetch land, but I, I, I'm i kind of keen to play a Triome, but I think a Triome's just a little bit too greedy. Um, see, this is a hand that's, that's quite greedy on mana, but like it, it works. I'm happy to try to test the waters out. Yikes. Okay. I wonder if they take the bird here. A hundred percent. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll definitely do like a bit of a deck tech to, uh, to kind of walk through some of my choices. Obviously moving away from four night is a pretty huge one. They take the bird, okay. Probably going for a mana advantage. Hmm. So here's an interesting one. I could green suns for dried arbor here, but if they wasteland me, then I don't have white. I could get the mum online, but I kind of like getting green mana online. Also turns on other hierarchs. And if they don't have removal or a wasteland then it's pretty good as well chrome mox okay maybe some sort of pox deck mana morphos rider flame rider flame ah oh, is this just gonna be storm uh doomsday does not play wasteland i i don't think this is doomsday i think this is some sort of like a Tess style storm deck. Spoils of the vault. Oh, they hit empty. Rough. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, but it's probably not good enough. Yeah. We don't have main deck engineers, so we don't have a great out to this, if an out at all. Tough. Probably same sort of boarding as last time. Definitely like the plagues. Uh, and I like the deafening silences and I like the forces. Uh, endurance isn't too bad either. Swords, endings, grist, remnap. Beast at loud. Uh, I, I don't think it's beast. Yeah, I think this is this is it. Just hope for that turn one ending. No, way too fair. I don't think mum into T get mum into oof here is is good enough. I think it is mulliging to five and trying to hit a deafening silence. At least the deck can play, play a pretty low curve as well. Like you could have a four that's like two lands, Deafening Silence, Hate Bear, and that's a, a fine hand against this sort of deck. They mulligan to six. Um, no. 
Mm. It does have the engineer. I think I keep this in bottom of the knight. And the force, potentially. I just try to go for turn two oof. Just tough again if they have like turn one thoughtsies. Okay, at least here we have the endurance. But yeah, this is going to be a, a really tough matchup for any sort of fair player, especially a deck that can pivot from sort of one strategy to another. Oh, okay. Well, now I want to draw a green card to have for the endurance. <sighs> nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't really change anything. Hey, Saito. Welcome. Sorry, I didn't see you before. I am doing well, thank you. Hope you're doing well as well. Um, I think I just run this back, to be fair. It was it was interesting that they played out the LED there, because that kind of makes me want to play like a another ending, potentially. Like, drop a mum. I think forces are nice because you can also hit something like a Chrome Mox with the trigger on the stack. Um, and force is just a green card for endurance as well, which is, is probably worth considering. But yeah, for, for one on one, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I think this is just sadly too slow on the on the draw. Even though it's a quite nice hand, I don't have acceleration because the drives in my hand. And I think I want to mulligan to either like a turn one deafening silence again or something like a um an endurance hand. Okay. This at least also has the mana just to try to uh, get a Uh, draw into a, a, a uh, Plague Engineer. They did go to six. Going for green sauce off the bayou here. I think holding the forest is better as unknown information than playing that. And this also allows me to use white mana off this in case of something like a um prismatic ending. Oh sorry, a uh, massacre. Wasteland. Just 
Just gonna hold up endurance here. Okay. Sure. I guess the question now is they go to eight. They do know about endurance, yeah. So I think here I'll just cast it and hope that like a two turn clock keeps them off. Because lose your half your life rounded up. So they go to eight, I believe. Yeah. I think I put the Doomsday back as well. I don't think Knight does anything here. The issue is that uh, like we can't use Canopy to draw into like a, a spirit or a Thalia because we don't have another white source. I think we take them off the Badlands. I think red is more like Rider Flame is kind of the card I'm thinking about. Then it might just be like play Canopy, play Knight. But maybe Knight Pitch to Force is worth it in case they mess up. Like, playing the knight does turn off the force, but what am I keeping the force for? I feel like my opponent, especially with how quickly they doomsday, they know what they're doing. So there's not going to be a position where I can, like, force an LED where they kind of were like, oh, no, I didn't mean to play that, that like, in that sequence. And I don't think it's worth playing the knight either because we, we already have the clock on board. Witherbloom Smog? Interesting. Maybe it is the bayou. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe we waste the green. Attack with both. And hope. Animal first is pretty sweet here. I make red, blue, red. Ah, uh, maybe in response. No, it doesn't matter. I guess we can still draw into another endurance.
Oh, the wasteland's pretty good. Yikes. Tough. That game one was rough. The uh, the empty was really strong. But yeah, Oracle's definitely a deck that I'm not going to sideboard aggressively for. There are some cool uh, crossover cards, like Torpor Orb isn't too bad. It doesn't stop much of our things other than Night of Autumn, but you can kind of play something like an Outland Liberator if you really want to play around that. But then you also have uh, Torpor Orb for decks like Death and Taxes, which is pretty sweet. I think playing the Endurance was still fine, because it pressures them to win within those two turns. And if they knew about it, I assume they had something like a like a Pact in hand. Um, the other thing they could have had is potentially... Stifle? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, interesting. I think we're just going turn one noble. Opponent knows me, so they know that we're probably on a Maverick or Depths deck. Port. Okay. Interesting. At least we get a pretty good turn here. Pilgrim? Huh. Well then, I didn't expect that. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just like a human's deck. Okay. Humans, but no play. Ooh, Leo. That's pretty sweet. Um, They didn't port us either. This is fine. Okay. Now it's between Cradle Hold Up Endurance or Wasteland Them. They do have the Vile, but I, I don't mind trying to get them in a position where we can just collect the Oof them out of the game. I kind of like just getting an Endurance into play that we can start attacking with both creatures. There's Agent. <clears throat> okay. It does turn off Green Sun Zenith, which is pretty huge. 
Um, this is fine. Thali's okay. Goes to three. Caracas. Uh, we do get to draw here, which is nice. Ending's really nice. Sure. Do they attack? Surely not. Yeah, because they have no cards in hand. They do. Ah, oh, they think it's free. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do anything here. But I am going to block. Nice. That's pretty tough. Uh, like thinking you, you kind of have the free attack to at least tap down the mum. But... Um, the question is, do I want to play the endurance here? I think I do. Maybe not. Maybe I actually like uh, getting the Leo back into play. Wastelanding them and then also prismatic ending. I can do that. Yeah. Oh, no, because it just gets tapped down anyway. It's free. <laughs> uh, classic. Okay. Uh, adapt. This is all good. I definitely want to get rid of this. That's kind of uh, Uno number one. And that's going to cost two mana. Yeah, I don't mind Wasteland Port Green Suns next turn. I don't know what I was thinking about with the uh, the cradle and letting it slide. Like it's just a free free creature. It also gives us more mana for next turn as well. Uh, they can beat QB with the Caracas. I'm pretty happy just to take this as well. Yeah, Leo does mean it's free cards, which is kind of cool. No blocks. I think we just green suns for two here with paying for Thali attacks. No, I like Leo just to draw. And holding back the Endurance is just a really nice way to keep that blocker going. Nice. But yeah, leave all a house here. They really need like a Thalia's Lieutenant into like another sort of Lord effect.
Okay. One card left. Land for turn. Attack with insurance. Mum. Cast endurance. Um, target no one. I could fetch for dried up here in case I draw it, but I think I'm happy just if that happens, that happens. Scrib's actually pretty cool. Okay. Middle image. They can name Leo here, which is cool. Yeah, Leo on this board is like a three mana draw card, isn't too bad. Oh, the damn prismatic ending. Okay. I will get dried up or out. Alright. Can I get free attacks with these endurances? Another mom. Opponent also in a position where, uh, like, they could like try to like Thalia block and then return with Krakus to buy some time, but it's pretty tough. Right, humans. Uh, these are coming out. Path, path, plague, plague, plague. Um, Kaya, Mum, Swords, Mana Acceleration, Oof, Scoos, Scrib Ranger, Gris, Knight. All of this is pretty good. Yeah, we drew a lot of cards there. It could be the Ooze. A lot of their stuff is going to be Exile. There's not too many creatures going to the bin other than like... So I guess for the Plague Engineers, you can then eat with Ooze, which is kind of cool. It might just be an Endurance. I think that's a pretty easy switch. Um, Track is definitely interesting and like a Force of Vigor, mainly for Vials, but I think having the Prismatics and the Oof is, is more than fine. I think just having the Black Splash in general is a really nice advantage in this sort of matchup. Especially with cards like Plague Engineer. Um... Yeah, this hand is, is good. It, it is a little bit tricky against Wasteland, but having Prismatic Ending is just so huge because it's a, a big answer for both creatures and vials. Yeah. Like, that's a pretty perfect draw because now we can just go for basics. Like, not get too... I don't want to get too hit by... Uh, too... Blown out by Wasteland when we have like a 4 and a 3 drop in hand.
pretty happy just to go for Verdant Pass. Just to play around Wasteland again. But don't really want to be drawing extra lands when we have the Remnant up to get some back, hopefully. I'm just going to let this slide. Nice. Hmm. They probably tap down the path anyway in upkeep. But there is a world where I want this for end step mum. So I'm not going to use it. Interesting. Uh, we still have a savannah we can get off this, so I can play scrub into mum here. And then still have the sword for their mum, if they have one. Nothing. I think here, I want to get the questing beast into play next turn. They have a port to push me back to two mana next turn. So what I can do here is get a dried arbor, untap. If they tap down one of these two, I can still play the cradle and then two, three, four, play beast. Ah, uh, didn't think of that. Yeah, I mean, if they have agent, they have agent, but maybe should have thought about that. Oh, now they can port as well. Okay. Tough. No, don't be at all. Leo. Pretty dead on this board. But ramming up next turn will be cool. They have one card left. I think because they have one card left. Prelate. Probably just on one. Okay. Yeah, at least now we know. So we can just uh, block the metal image. Uh, pro white. Hey, thanks, Sido. Too kind. Sure. Hmm. This is actually pretty interesting. I could play the Noble to get mana online next turn for Leovold. And also Questing Beast. This kind of gives me two mana because of the Cradle. I think that's actually correct. They draw.
They can port the Cradle, but then I still have access to 4 mana with the Beast. Interesting. I still like Beast here. Just being a 4-4 makes it pretty hard for them to keep attacking. It's a little bit tricky because now they can attack with everything and like make me have to block with the mum potentially. Because if we just block a 3-3, three, three, we're still taking 7. So actually any sort of removal spell does it here. Okay, lucky. Because I think if I saw that, maybe the line is actually the prismatic ending the general. Huh. I think in this case I'm happy to take it. What can they have? Um, so in response to us like giving pro, they can have, uh, there's a creature that when it comes into play, it's kind of like Fiend Hunter, but it flips. Brutal Cathar, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to trade here. I think the beast has kind of done its job if it's trading one for one. Oh, maybe they have an Orzov Pontiff. Opposition agent. Eat the sword. Okay. Oh, now I'm going to give pro. I guess they can now trade like two creatures with general. But I don't really mind that. Yeah, that's fine. Because we just fogged. They're down two creatures now. They potentially port the cradle here. That's fine. Canopy. Hmm. So now we have a few options. I kind of like taking out the general, I think. I can't double spill. I can double spill if I want to take out the... Oh, this is naming Prismatic Ending, my bad. Okay, well that makes things a little bit easier. For some reason I thought this was naming Swords to Plowshares, but no, I had Swords to Plowshares last game. No, this game, yes. Okay, we're, we're, we're Gucci. Uh, I think it's just going to be a Leo. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of awkward though, because I've got to use that mana. I don't mind ramming up and then hold up draw card. It's just a shame that it doesn't line up too well with these creatures. Leovold, at least, is a 3 3 that can trade with a 3 3.
Yeah, I think the line here is Leovold in front of Meddling Mage if they attack, and then we can Prismatic Ending the General. Um, I have to take the damage, because I need a blue source, uh, a black source. Oh, I could have used that. That's correct, yeah. I didn't need to. I'm going to call that a stream of fatigue. Is this Magus? Yeah, if we lose by one, we know where to find it. Exactly. Recruit is pretty good. They probably find Pontiff here. They yeah, they find Pontiff and then that's game. Because they can attack for nine, we can block with one creature. Reflect damage. Interesting. I guess this does it too. Unless we draw into our uh, source to plowshares here or a path. Maybe they won't see it. Yeah. The one point was huge. I mean, even if we like get another turn, it's pretty tough. Oh, they're going to give us another try to draw into a, a swords or path. Oh, come on. Tough. Rough. What is it? Okay, irrelevant. Ah, pre on one, yeah. pre on one actually covers them pretty well. Um, Pretty happy just to send this back. I could see Tracker being okay, probably better than Endurance. It's probably the only change. Paradox Zone's also pretty cool. Hmm. It might just be all endurances. We haven't seen any flyers yet. I assume they're playing Kite Sail, but maybe they actually took out Kite Sail. Um, I like this hand. Turn one Green Suns, then we have like Prismatic and Swords again. For like a turn one vial. Plague's pretty cool. There is a world where keeping the wasteland for me is better just because we have so many three drops, but I think we have a pretty high chance of drawing into a land that it should be okay. <laughs> he said. <laughs> it is now, I feel bad, but like, there are hands that that can really I uh, hit them pretty badly on. That's a land, which is a third land next turn. Oh yeah, I should I should fetch now, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna get a Bayou because I can save it with Scrib Ranger if I really need it.
Hey Saito, very cool to hear you're, you're kind of on the same path. Because yeah, as good as Knight is, it's just one of those cards where it's just not lining up as well as I thought it might. Hmm. Okay. Bird pretty nice here. Like next time we can potentially ramen up back a land as well. Don't want a swords just yet either. Nice. Now this is interesting because of a uh, of opposition agent. I think getting the fetch is still okay. Nothing. Wow. Get back wasteland. Yeah, I feel like they are holding opposition agent here. We're not in a position where we need to fetch. That's the issue for them. I feel like this is maybe a recruiter for Orzov Pontiff. Noble. Oh, no opponent. Definitely getting gifted here by keeping back on these plagues. Could attack there, but I'm pretty happy just to keep this back for now. Plague next turn deals with the Containment Priest as well. Yeah. Tough. Alright. Let's finish this on a high. Would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a few streams in a row. Uh, I think this is my seventh stream in a row in three days. Pretty crazy. One stream, double stream, double stream, double stream. Rainbow Depths, Rainbow Depths, Rainbow Depths. Abzan Mav, Abzan Mav, Abzan Mav. It's been good though. It's been pretty cool. Definitely mixing it up with uh, exercise uh, and work. So, <laughs> hey Timmy, what'd you have? What did you, uh, what was like the other line of what you could have done? The, the misplay that I did in, in game two was that I used the, ca the, uh, the canopy, because I didn't think I had the mana for Leovold and lost the mana to go to six, but I should have stayed at seven. But I think that even if I was at seven and you swing with all and I go to one, I don't think I have really a, a possible out to get the other swing back. 
Uh, this is a blue deck. We are playing uh, Leovold, so you can leave that at the door. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Turn one playing, hold up sword, turn two spirit or Thalia. Yeah, it would have been really, really, really hard, especially because um, you had the the prelate on one and the metally mage on uh, prismatic ending. Like even a plague engineer at that point does does nothing. Just recruit her earlier. That's fair. I wasn't sure if you played a Orza Pontiff. Because there's a few times in a, in, a, in a few of those games where I was like, oh, I hope they don't have Orza Pontiff. Folk. Shaman. Sure. Sure. True name. Old school. Okay. Opponent at four cards. Verdant's pretty sweet. Just gonna play around Force and Negation here. Force Bitch Delver. Yeah, pretty tough. I think that the uh, the Abzan version of um, of Mav definitely has like a, a nice match up against humans, especially game one, having prismatic ending for a turn one mum or vile. And in both those game twos, like having the answer um, for those is, is really, really strong. Opponent's in a bit of a pickle here, but they do have a 3-3. Three, three, so I think I actually have to get my own 3-3 three, three down here, but maybe I can get Thalia down. Thalia taxing is pretty good. Like if they have a bolt, I'd probably rather go at spirit number one. At least spirit turns off cantrips from drawing, which is pretty awesome. It's also an extra damage in, which I really like. Miss you too, Tim. Miss you too. Yes. Oof. Now we're cooking. Double wasteland. That's fine. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Ooze is pretty cool here. Not gonna lie. Um. But honestly, it's just going to be Spirit. I should have Wastelanded first so they couldn't force this. That was definitely a misplay. Uh, and then I might just attack with everything. Hey, Carador. Welcome. Hope you're well. You love to see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Delva. All right, Beast. Oof. Path, path. I think it's just path, path. Uh, endurance. Ch choke. Eat shit, Delva. <laughs> Couldn't say it better myself. Yeah, it's tough because I, I think in their case, uh, the Wasteland is just paying the Thalia tax. But yeah, a really tough spot for them. Um, I'm pretty happy to take out... Uh, Knight of Autumn for the Endurance. Hey, J.I. Yeah, thankfully, uh, like, sometimes Wasteland just hits, which is kind of cool. 
This is actually a tough one. I think like, it's it's leaning towards the knight. I think choke number one is better than knight number two, but it's definitely tough. Maybe choke just isn't where I want to be. I, don't, I just want to move away from choke completely against Delver. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Maybe it is just a green suns. Bring in the choke. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, there are definitely some some worlds where you have the early removal for creatures, then you can just choke them out. I, I don't like this hand. I think it's just a little bit too stalled on mana. And that's exactly where I can get trapped against Delver. Uh, this is a better hand. I can bottom the Dryad Arbor. And just hope to draw a land off the top as well. Bring in Choke with a smile on his face. I'd love to see a Ponder here. Plague First Humans is definitely interesting, but I just, I, I don't know if it's better than anything else already in the deck. That's the tough part. Another Thalia. Plains. Mum. Taze is fine. I think if they were on um, Rug, and if Rug came back, I would be more tempted for Plague because it can also block a Tarmogoyf. But it's generally a card that just doesn't do what you want. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it, it's a tough one. Because like the thought is definitely there. They do play humans in Delvers and also DRCs. We did also see, we did see true names, so I, I think there is a little bit more cause. I should have also played this, but um, there's a world where I don't play this now. Just so I can definitely cast a Thalia turn next turn. Also turns off Submerge, which is like a, a small thing, but. I think losing that bio would be pretty crucial. Ponder. Interesting if they have a bolt. Oh, and the Cities. Yeah, see, I would have put that on top and then hit the Ponder, because now I know they have a Ponder in hand. Another mum. Hmm. I think it's the same play. But that's when you get got. I just want to I just want them to play a Merc Tide so I can sort it. <laughs> that's all I really want. Yes, opponent, thank you. Too kind. But to be fair, this is also where they just have force and we lose. Yeah, only downside is Smurge, that's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's probably just incorrect to, to hold this. Means that other mum doesn't get dazed as well. I mean, prismatic ending off the top would be sweet. It's a good start. But they chose not to shuffle, which is scary. Paid actors. Yikes. That's a big yikes. Interesting. They're trying to just get a Merc Tide into play, potentially? Sweet game. Uh, sending this back. Definitely want that uh that mana to work out. But it's definitely mana that's been kind of the issue against Delver. And finding access to the actual removal. It's good to have removal in the deck, but if you don't see it, you don't see it. But it's just tough to find a card that actually allows you to to dig without being something else. Uh we would like to play first. And I don't mind this sand. Pretty good. Okay. Surgical, really? Okay. I do want to play the Scoos until I can try to get it online, or at least get a little bit more out of it. You know they have Bolt. Yeah, I'm still happy to jam for Ragavan here. For uh, <laughs> Ragavan, for Endurance. Jeez. So aggressive opponent. At least if we can block here and then if the bolt goes at the endurance, we can potentially eat some stuff with ooze.
Hmm. Surgical the plow. Surgical the plow. All right. We have a lot of time, which is nice. And we have some, some decisions to make. Could Green Suns for another Endurance? They didn't have days last turn, uh, which is pretty nice. We also have Ramanap get back a land, which isn't too bad. But I, I feel like here... I could also go for Grist. Grist is pretty interesting. I also haven't played a land yet, so I could uh, Green Suns for Scrib Ranger and then also play Ooze, just to go, go like a little bit wide. I think we're definitely attacking. Untap this, return this, play this. Play this. Now oh, the delve is okay. Mystic Sanctuary tapped. Sure. Eat your bolt. Sally's so pretty cool. Uh, two, four, six mana. It's pretty sweet. Probably don't mind just going for another Endurance and then Thalia. Two, four, six. I also like doing it like this to see if they try to daze it. Nope. Um... Yeah, I think it is second endurance. No need, no need to target anyone. Uh, oh, no. Cancel. Untap this, return this. Thalia. Uh, the Scoos is kind of just a free attack here. Like if they want to trade with this Delver, that's more than fine. Pretty tough spot for them. Leovold's pretty cool as well. Brainstorm, okay. Nice. All right, we got our first four one, which is very cool. Uh, beating blue red Delva, blue white control, uh, Ant slash Tess, and then something else. But can't be too unhappy with that. Also got the play points back to keep the deck rolling, which is cool. Um, deck felt pretty nice. I think Screws is a, is a nice addition um, alongside the Endurances, and then having that extra Endurance in the board for matches where you want it, things like Delver, Reanimator, any sort of like Dredge or Graveyard-based deck. Um, the Leovold's still nice, but... I, I think I do want to fit in another land, and I think it is another fetch land. Um, it's probably just another Verdant, because Verdant can fetch the scrub land, whereas something like a Misty can't get scrub, which is interesting. But yeah, nice to go 3 2 four, one. That's a, a really nice result, and it's good to see a little bit of momentum as well, which is cool. So pretty sweet. That was also, uh, I guess we did have the plow for turn one Delver? 
Or maybe that was a league where we just didn't... Was that a game in the last one where we didn't have removal and just based it off creatures? I think it was. Yeah, we didn't actually need the Swords to Plashes, Prismatics, or... Oh, we had one because they, they surgical did. That's right. Uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, changes going forward. None yet. Like, it's still pretty good. I think if anything, it's looking for that extra mana in the mana base. Hadiness. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of having the mana to cast all my spells. So I do want to have the, the trop for the Leo. Um, even though there are some instances where it's a little bit awkward with the one of choke. Um, usually it's a bigger advantage for me than my opponent, so. <laughs> Too kind. Uh, but yeah, a huge thank you to you guys for coming and watching. Uh, if you like this content, you can definitely find it via YouTube and of course on Twitter and the Green Sun Zenith. Um, but yeah, pretty cool to to finish out those matches and, and finish on a high because um, it's nearly midnight. So I'm going to see who else is streaming and send you guys over there. It looks like Jarvis is playing, which is cool. And Jarvis is playing some modern, but still it's Jarvis. So it's going to be good quality. You guys are more than welcome. Uh, I will definitely see you uh, soon. I'm away for the weekend, but maybe on Monday, which is a public holiday here, I'll get something going. Uh, I do have a co-stream coming up with Ali with a donation deck list of lands, which is really cool. So going to do uh, a league with Ali and then a league on my own. Uh, with this list so that should be pretty sweet so a huge thank you uh stay safe enjoy yourselves and uh, i'll catch you next time cheers